This video will explain the basic method of how to calculate Fujikopian for a simple robot. For an in-link robot with joint variables Q1 to Qn and following forward kinematics, we need to be able to find Fujikopian. So to do that, first step is write position equations. These are the equations that get the numbers in the position spot of the homogeneous transformation. So then we take the derivative of those equations to get velocity and put it in matrix form, x dot equals j theta dot, where x dot is end effector velocity and theta dot is joint speeds. So let's do an example of this. Here we'll do an example using the two link robot and find the Jacobian of this. Step one is find the forward kinematics. Step two is take the derivative and get velocity. Step three is put it in matrix form. So we'll start with step one, getting the x, y, z positions of the end effector. So x is going to be the x position of this. So we'll go all the way out here to the side and then all the way up. To get to the end effector, we have to travel along the link. So first link one, and then link two. And it's cosine of theta one plus theta two because theta two is given with respect to link one. So they add together to get the angle of link two. So now we take the derivative of these and get velocity. Remember to use product rule because um, cosine of theta one plus theta two is gonna have theta one inside of it and th theta two inside of it. Next, we put these in matrix form. So we'll have the x dot matrix, which is really x dot, y dot, z dot. So that'll be a big thing. Then we multiply it by theta one dot, theta two dot. Now looking at this, we know that n is two because there are two joints. And M is three because this is a two dimensional robot. So we could really move in X, Y, and theta. We can't move in the Z direction. So we're going to get rid of that. And we're going to make this become a two by two matrix. So here we can make the Jacobian be a two by two because this robot can't move in the Z direction. So really what we care about is X and Y. So to get matrix form from the velocity equations, we just need to put in the coefficients of those equations. Because if we recall, J equals del X, del theta one dot, del X, del theta two dot, del Y, del theta one, actually these aren't dots, and then del y, del theta two. Okay, so the rows of Jacobian correspond to x and y. The columns correspond to theta one and theta two. So we just need to put the coefficient that for the x equation, x coefficient of theta one goes in the first spot. So that's minus L one S one, minus L2, S2. That is what's times theta one dot.
And then for the theta two dot, we just have minus L two S one two. And similarly for the Y. So this is the Jacobian.